Good afternoon and thank you for joining this Wellington 18 Minute Short. I'm Baz Kinder, the Commercial Director of Wellington, and today I'm presenting an overview of the advanced resource management add-on that's available within the Wellington Accelerator Plus Power App, which extends at Microsoft Project for the Web. And before I dive into today's topic, I'll provide a short intro to Wellington and some background on resource management challenges, especially when using Project for the Web as a standalone app before then showcasing the enhanced solution we've now made available within the Accelerator Plus. But as I said, let's start with a quick intro to Wellington. So our promise to you is that by taking up our services, your project and portfolio management capability will be improved. And that's something that we offer with a money back guarantee. And having been around since 2001, we've managed to collect quite a few accreditations over the last 20 or so years. And as you can see from the collection of badges being displayed, we're also a Microsoft Gold Certified Project and Portfolio Management Partner. We're headquartered in Windsor with offices in Ireland and Spain as well, but we do tend to work globally to support our customers no matter where they are. And we offer a wide variety of services that span consultancy, technology, and training. The focus, again, being on helping our customers to improve their project and portfolio management capability. You can read more at wellington.co.uk, so please do follow that link and have a look through the website. And just before I move on to discussing Microsoft Project, here's a small selection of our customers. Quite a diverse mix of organizations, as you can see. But the one thing that they all have in common is that they all have PMOs and they all are managing projects. There's a number of case studies available on our website, so please do follow that link and take a look. So let's talk about how we can start to address resource management issues with Microsoft Project for the Web and the Wellington Accelerator Plus. Before I do, a quick caveat that I'll be diving straight into the topic of resource management. So if you're looking for an overview of Project for the Web and separately the Accelerator Plus Power App, you'll need to head over to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, then you'll find some handy links in the video description below. Okay, so let's start by focusing on the standard resource assignment process within Project for the Web, which is really, really very straightforward. And uh, you simply start by creating a plan with tasks. And in the Assign To column, you simply start typing in the name of the person you want to assign. And through the Backend AD link, that person is found and simply assigned against the task. And once that's done, we'll get a, a really nice notification to inform them that they've been assigned some work. And of course, if you've already got a Microsoft 365 group in place linked to the project, you can also select group members and assign them against the tasks as well. And that's basically it. It's a very simple process, which for smaller teams, I would say would work incredibly well. But where you've got cross-functional teams working together and juggling lots of work, some might say it's a bit too light. And I bet you couldn't help but read the words on the screen in Darth Vader's voice. I know that I certainly couldn't. And uh, by the way, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're finding it useful, then please give it a like and feel free to add a comment as well. But getting back on track, it, it's because the standard resource management approach in a Project for the Web is so light that we've created the advanced resource management solution within the Wellington Accelerator Plus because really that's what the majority of our customers need. But we've tried to keep things pretty simple. So the solution is, first of all, fully embedded within the Accelerator Plus Power App and within the Project for the Web scheduling interface as well. Uh, you can start to forecast resource demand by using generics or named resource types. The entire flow follows a very practical, common sense approach that again keeps things very simple. And it comes bundled with a series of Power BI reports which provide a really detailed insight on resource demand versus capacity. And once you've populated your plan with generic resources, you can then use the match and replace functionality to swap them out with named resources. And of course, you get visibility of your availability before you commit them to a task. So I think I've probably done enough talking. Let's just Peel back the curtains, uh, utilizing my uh, favorite transition there, and uh, we're going to move on to the demo. So like I said earlier, we're going to be diving straight into the resource management aspects of Project for the Web and the Accelerator Plus. 
If you do want to see a high level overview of either the scheduling interface or the Accelerator Plus Power App generally, then do check out some of the videos on our YouTube channel. And again, as I said before, we have provided some links down below in the YouTube video description. Right, so let me switch over now. So we're not looking at the Accelerator Plus now. This is a standard build of Project for the Web. It's a simple plan that I created earlier on today and I've got some tasks in place. I need to find a resource. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is click on that person icon and start typing in the name of a colleague such as Adele. You know, when she's not singing, she's available for uh, project work. And uh, there's Adele. She's been found in the AD uh, directory. I'll click on her name and straight away tasking, do I now simply want to assign her to this project or would I like to add her to either an existing group or create a brand new Microsoft 365 group? For now, we're just going to assign. And, and that is as easy as it gets really in terms of resource assignment. Adele's been assigned to that task and uh, she's now going to be notified about that work. Uh, of course, the project managers can go in and access certain reports that might give them a bit of visibility in terms of other resource assignments, but it's not really driving any process. And that's really where the Accelerator Plus comes into play. So here I am in the Accelerator Plus. I've got a similar looking plan here. Uh, I've got a couple of tasks in place or a few tasks in place. I've already got in place a generic resource and a named individual as well. So let's take it back to the beginning and show you how I've populated the resources in the first place. So step number one for any project is really about going in and creating a team from scratch. So again, you can see a couple of resource types that I've already added, but if I click on build team, that's going to present this window uh, here in the central part of the screen. On the left hand side, what I see at the moment are a bunch of named resources across the organization. But of course, I'm interested at the beginning of the project's life cycle in generics. Now, I've already got two generic resources assigned, but what I'll do is I'll go in and select a few others, and you might even argue that the project manager should have been the very first assignment, but it's not been. Um, but I am going to go in, add every other generic resource that we have available. I'll add them to the team, and I'll press save, and this will update. So here is now our team that we've uh, built for this specific project. If I go back to the tasks view, what I can now start to do is go in and start assigning work to individuals. And you'll notice that rather than me typing in the name of a resource uh, as I might have done historically, I can now see a list of all of the team members that we've added so far. So I will go through, add in a few generic resources. And by the way, against a individual task, you can add more than one resource. I'm just gonna add a few, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I'm gonna add in a tester. Let's add in one more, for good luck. Uh, let's make it a software engineer. Clicking on the assignments view, this will refresh in just a moment. There we go, so it's now refreshed. And in fact, let's also highlight so uh, in fact, no, we'll come back to conflicts shortly. But for now, let me expand the list out. So you can see the named resource that's already been added. I can see the other generic resources that we've just added literally to the plan a few moments ago. And what I need to do now is find somebody that can fulfill that role and has availability. So in order to do that, I'll click on this arrow and I will find a match. And for those of you that might be familiar with Microsoft Project Online, uh, used to be enterprise resource capability that was available there. This is almost a direct replica of that functionality. So it's almost like for like functionality. But here now I see two resources that can fulfill the role of a Power BI report developer. I'm going to select both and I'm going to see their availability. So Nesta is sitting around doing pretty much nothing uh, according to this, whereas Lynn is pretty busy. So the obvious choice for this project is going to be Nesta. So let's go back, select Nesta, and we will replace. So let's confirm that, lock it in. So that was task number one. We were going to replace with Nesta. We can see that the queue is now processing in the background. So if I give this a moment, let that complete, go back to the task window, you can see Nesta has now been substituted for the generic resource against that task. So again, very simple, very straightforward. 
A couple of additional things that I'll highlight now. First of all, we can also check for conflicts by pressing that button there. Going back, let's expand this out. And we can see straight away, we see some red indicators popping up, indicating possible conflicts. So let's click on that. And we can see that uh, that resource, uh, which I think was actually Adele, uh, yeah, she's pretty much maxed out. So we've got her assigned to this task in this project, but look at all of the other work assignments which she's got in her diary. Now, realistically, this should not occur if people are following the process and checking people's availability before they start allocating resources. A couple of other things that I want to point out, if you've got a lot of data on the screen and you want to expand it out, you can. We'll toggle my switch. We can also change the level of granularity that we're going to view this in. So as you can see, it's a very simple, straightforward solution to use and it does add the right level of practicality and governance around the process of allocating resources that every single project manager and every team generally within a PMO would need. Uh, the final thing that I'm going to demonstrate as part of this is the reporting pack. So I'll cycle through this really quickly. So here is the Accelerator Plus resource reporting pack. And uh, the very first report that I'm going to demonstrate is resource availability. So let's click on that. And this report really comes to life straight away as evident through that heat map at the bottom. So straight away, I can see who's got availability indicated by the green and who is really maxed out and probably quite stressed by the uh, red highlighting and the negative figures that you can also see displayed as well. We've got some corresponding reports here at the top showcasing demand and capacity over time. So the bars representing demand, the line chart representing capacity, and we can see we've got resources sitting around maybe not fully utilized. So that's something we could look to address. Of course, you can also go in and apply certain filters. I'm going to leave these as, as they are for now. Let's minimize that again. Let's open up the menu. I'll show you a couple of other reports. So there's resource demand. And uh, we can also see resource assignments. And as I said before, uh, you can apply certain filters if you want to go in and do that. And uh, something that I always point out in the videos is that these charts also act as filters generally. So let's say we want to focus in on a specific resource to see what they're working on. Let's select Lynn Roberts. Let's click on that segment. We can now see all of her work assignments being listed out. So guys, that was a very quick whirlwind tour of the Accelerator Plus resource management solution that can be added on to our base configuration. We've already seen the curtains being peeled back, so let's not view that again. Let's talk about next steps instead. So I'm sure you want to get a deeper dive demo, maybe not only of the resource management solution, but possibly the Accelerator Plus and Project for the Web as well. In order to set that up, all you need to do is drop me an email and uh, we'll get something booked into the diary. If you've decided that this solution looks like a really good fit for your organization and uh, you want to better understand what the implementation approach would be, uh, how much effort's involved, what the associated costs would be, we can provide you with a envisioning workshop. And that would also result in a implementation roadmap being produced, indicating how we would approach it and what the associated timelines would look like. And for anything else, get in touch, please, using these details. So there's my email address. Uh, you can also find me on LinkedIn. And if you've got your uh, iPhone, your Android device to hand, and you've got LinkedIn installed, scan that QR code, it'll take you directly into my profile. If you are on LinkedIn, also give Wellington a follow. Uh, the company page is listed there. And you might already be viewing this on YouTube, but if you're not, and you're not familiar with the uh, YouTube channel that we have, please head over to youtube.com forward slash Wellington PPM, uh, where you'll see a selection of videos. And whilst you're there, please do subscribe and ding the notifications bell as well. But uh, everyone, thank you very much for joining today. I hope you found that useful.